Good evening, Frank Gretzenheider, and uh, welcome to Naples, and thanks for accepting Satori Communications in Naples. Thanks for the invitation, yeah. Yes. I want to know how do you like Regina's approach um, to electronic music, because I know you're very friends, and uh, not only music, a contact, but also beyond music connection, you're friends, right? Yeah, so, yeah we know each other for a while. So what's your approach? What do you think about their approach to the electronic music? No, I really like it. Otherwise, I wouldn't know them. <laughs> <laughs> so There's a lot in common. Yeah, it's also like, uh, in, a, in a way, it's also what I do. It's more rather like a kind of minimal stuff. But they, they are really into this rhythm. And I heard them. I know them for a long time. I enjoy always the music. And then uh, sometimes we are not so close. But recently they had been two times in Berlin mm -hmm. and playing there at some places. Uh, and uh, the last time at, at Tresor uh, uh, Club. And it was really like, wow, well, great uh, experience to hear them performing. And immediately everybody was dancing around. So it was cool. really, really, really cool. So you hang out like, a lot, guys. Yeah, we also I had been here in the past already. Yeah. We're so excited to know have you ever done I mean, will you do something together, like producing stuff together? No. <laughs> no, definitely. <laughs> so <laughs> we just no, it's that? not it's uh, yeah, it's not necessary. I mean like uh, it's it's good also to, to know people, to have uh, like a friendship and not only like only like having For a working yeah, like yeah, yeah, working yeah. relationship. So um and also, I mean, I'm really focused on my projects, mm -hmm. and sometimes you do some side projects. Mm -hmm. It's it's it takes some time, mm -hmm. additional time. You so don't I need thought, to do it. Yes, I guess. Uh, but we had some quite nice uh, sessions yesterday and today. So cool, <laughs> great, great, yeah. I bet so. I it's mean, a question mark. Yeah. <laughs> so um, in the last works, you did you use a lot of analog stuff and synthesizer, which just confirms that you just belong to the old scene and uh, that you're not that young, <laughs> no, which is no. very. Right, right. And uh, but I want to know what attracted you to choose these particular sounds. No, it was already. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm born like in the 50s, and I grew up like in the 60s. With when I was a kid, like small, mm -hmm. and I was attracted with science fiction movies on TV. Mm -hmm. And at this time, they didn't have like this massive uh, mm -hmm. uh, sound. But nowadays, you know, if you look. So like really tiny soundtrack, really minimal, some uh, sine waves and mm -hmm. so on. And this was something very new. I mean, you, you can't hear the nature of these sounds, mm -hmm. you know. And this was something what I always enjoying and was what, what makes me curious mm -hmm. about how to make it, what the, what the sound is. And then was the same time, like all these synthesizers coming up in, coming up in rock music, mm -hmm. for example. So this was really attracting me, all this electronic side of the rock music, also the music itself. But if there is was something like Jimi Hendrix, he treated his guitar like mm. really like with a lot of pedals and right. uh, distortion and wah wah and echoes and stuff like this. And uh, this was really attracting me. Yeah. Cool. So I guess this is something which makes him common with him, with Lino aesthetics, Probably, right? Yeah. And there's a lot of... Tiny stuff. Tiny. Yeah. Tiny, Tiny sparkling sound. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. So you were born so, in uh, East Berlin. Yeah, so no, no, East Berlin, uh, East Germany. So, East and but what in a really small village yeah, yeah. in the uh, mountains oh, over there. Karl Marx Stadt. No, no, this is a city. But I was even like in the mountains, like in a on a Czech border. Okay. Uh, really mm -hmm. small. But I moved then to Karl Marx Stadt when I was ten. Mm. Yeah. I got you. So, but anyway, we have the feeling that your music, in your music, you just reflect what your background is like i mean there are so many models of control that human beings nowadays try to develop in this chaotic world and mm. uh, you know like uh, this is what we can understand through your music that's a lot of precise stuff mm. control mm. and uh, i mean is this your aesthetical approach to music <laughs> Yeah, probably. I mean, I just the the the, the I think uh, it is my person. Like, so I grew up like this, and also I never had really a training in music. You know, I never studied music. I yeah. can't read no no uh, oh. scores even not today. So, and this makes me more careful because I want to do it right. <laughs> so I got I you. Really need some more time to because I'm not so trained. I mean, if somebody mm -hmm. like having studying, I mean, he's 
probably know better what to do and I have to look what I do that it fits together in a way I want to do it and uh, so I think this is also something mm. of what makes the character of this music mm, mm, mm. and a kind of way you're saying that a proper musician would be more superficial <laughs> yeah I mean it depends what kind of music you do, but in, in, in often they, they know better about harmonics, about placement, of, or like a beat making or so, because they, they, are, they learn it, you yes, know, they study yeah, yeah. it. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it, this is something different if you have, if you have, if you're a self-taught musician, so you have to really to learn everything by yourself. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it's clear. Uh, you use a lot of visual in your production yeah. and uh, how do you relate visuals to your music and uh, where do you take the inspiration from? Yeah, it was all already in the 80s I had a band already and we were experimenting at this time already with 8mm, 16mm film and then later with this, what I do nowadays with the electronic music, I think it can support also the music, it shows what goes on in the music, mm. reflecting what's going on, especially with the more abstract stuff, what I also yeah. sometimes do, then it's for lots of people, then they can see on the screen <laughs> better in a way what's in the music going on. I had some often like people coming then after concerts, ah, now I understand the music because I saw. You see, yeah. yeah so <laughs> it's, I mean, we are very visual people, so, and uh, for lots of it's, I mean, sometimes it's dangerous because it takes the attraction away from the music. It's then only the visual, but it can also help to 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 understand the music and to mm -hmm. have going better inside if it's like this kind of more yeah. experimental yeah. stuff. Yeah. At the end of the day, you're a visionary. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, also like for life, you know, it's not so important if you play live to see just like a guy with like an earlier computer or like just a machine. Mm -hmm. uh, it's then if you have something more visual, like with a band, I mean, you can see the guitar player, the drummer and whatever. And uh, so I don't have these things, but I have the visuals and then it's mm -hmm. for the people it also kind of... Have you seen Lino's <laughs> visuals as well? He's also very good in doing visuals. Uh, actually, <laughs> we are not doing the video anymore. Oh, yeah, but you did it I in the past. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, I don't know about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, for uh, so so <laughs> <laughs> I missed it. You should show to people, you know. Yeah. I was one yeah. of the few who yeah, know, so who's shy. seen it. <laughs> yes, he's shy guy, yeah. but he's very good in doing visuals as well. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I have done something, some yeah. experiment uh, during the uh, last phase of uh, of Retina, uh, maybe till uh, 20, 2014. Okay. Oh. We have had the show with the video too, uh -huh. and uh, now we stopped uh, because yeah. uh, we are more concentrated in, 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 the, music. in the music. Yeah, yeah. 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 We prefer to stay more. Uh, you see, this is why it's good to have a friend like me. <laughs> <laughs> So let's go back to your stuff in your albums. There's a lot of advice, proper advice on uh, the way someone has to listen to your music with the head cuff on, uh, sometimes, stereo yeah. mode. Yeah, you do that, but don't you think this is a nonsense? I mean, it's useless because so many low quality music is on the channels like YouTube and stuff, and so many people is listening and um, downloading, you know, mm. music through mm. those channels. Mm. So I mean, you just make a great effort you know just you advise mm. people to listen to the music in that way but yeah it was only like it's not uh, usually i mean for this stuff what the new album was I, I wouldn't do it but there was a special it was a special album what is called um, isolation i think yeah but it's a professional thing i like it Everybody yeah uh, like and it. then it's yeah i mean it's open for people how they want to deal with it yeah. but if you want the best experience, yes, then yes, you should yeah. have. So headphones. this is for the best people, yeah. for the uh, best no, for listener, the, for the best experience. Yeah. You Not have for the crowd. For the music. Yeah. I listen often your music in uh, ah. my place, so uh, I listen with the speaker, yeah. and uh, yeah, yeah, I yeah. prefer to have your sound. Yeah, uh, yeah uh, but sometimes also in, yeah. in, in, in the air, you know. I have also like a, maybe later on I will bring it out. Like I did a lot of recordings with like binaural microphones, yeah. you know, for, for this, like, there was this kind of multi-channel system, what yeah. I was working on, on 4D sound, and then, I mean, with a stereo recording, you can't hear this, yeah. Uh, yeah. this environment, so I bought me this binaural microphones, 
and then you play in the middle of the yeah and yeah. then you uh, and but then as a listener you have to have headphones yeah. otherwise yeah. it yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure, sure. And the reason why i'm telling you this is because you know there's a lot of instantaneous fruition of music so what do you think about this where is know. music going <laughs> towards i mean I, you know nobody's know. <laughs> listening to good quality music mm. we can figure out uh, with something i don't know um, the computer are now in all the houses, so the music will be um, listened by many young people that mm -hmm. use a uh, mm -hmm. low speaker. Yeah. I think uh, the language of music has changed its, uh, its focus mm -hmm. during this, the time. Yeah. Uh, we have lived in a in past era when the music was the glue of everything also to connect with the people yeah uh, i remember when uh, when uh, i went to the record store and uh, find people and share interest yes know people of other town mm -hmm. and uh, we have to go there mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. we have to share this uh, sensation right th yes. that is yes. uh, that you can miss uh, you have to be outside yeah. uh, uh, on the other side of the the the, the, the screen mm. yeah so also, the music is going in another way. Mm -hmm. We don't know when. Which is negative. Yeah, but it, no, it also depends from your age. I mean, these young guys, they still like, I mean, they're going to the concert to enjoy the music together, you know, mm -hmm. like, because it's not so nice, or it can be nice too, but it's a different experience to go together to concert, to club, to dance. Mm -hmm. What is um, also enjoying music together, yeah. not necessarily only like buying stuff, but I think, and then, of course, then you have all these like uh, platforms nowadays where mm -hmm. you can also share your experience, you can have your comments, yeah, oh this yeah. is nice or something mm -hmm. like this. Mm -hmm. It's a different way yeah, but yeah. Yeah. So I, you're open. it's it's changing but yeah. I wouldn't say it's better bad or, 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 or bad mm -hmm. because it was bad in the past. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Someone I know what you mean. <laughs> yeah, I got you. So I mean does somebody I guess that you like amongst these young people, this new generation? That is always like surprising artists. What I recently heard in summer was an American artist, but she is living in uh, in uh, England. Mm -hmm. uh, it's Jalen, she's a black American. It's really abstract, uh, uh, very energetic music mm -hmm. with lots of drum sounds. I was really surprised, stuff like this. So What's her name again? Jay Lin? Jay Lin. Yeah, it's an mm -hmm. artist name. Mm -hmm. Something what just came to my mind, but also uh, in Berlin you have a lot of chances to go mm -hmm. out and to see concert. Also I play when I play like a festival or something, then there are some other artists too and I have a wide range of interests, not only like this kind of yeah, whatever more entertaining music, but also like uh, uh, contemporary music mm -hmm. and jazz, improvised music, yeah. there's a yeah. lot of things going cool. on. So there's yeah. always new ex yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, exciting things. So you're very optimistic about the future scene? Like, yeah, I'm, yeah, I don't see any... I mean, it changes and but you know, earlier and like whatever, 40, 50 years ago, you had a lot to need a lot of money to buy equipment. Yes, yeah, you sure. have like Nowadays really like a, 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 um, a good um, a recording and nowadays and you have and you couldn't bring it out you have to have a label you have to have make vinyl this is like really cost intensive mm -hmm. yeah and then later on you can just small drum machines and everything and every could do it by itself that you had this bedroom producers and everything yeah. and nowadays you only need more, actually a more, computer to do them. something and everything else this depends on the people I mean if you have like a talent then of course he can start immediately with a computer and bring out his music on uh, on any platforms nowadays on the uh, internet and um, can build up a community what uh, was uh, when I was like in this age really difficult yeah. I mean we had like okay we could make like tapes or something but this is something different from uh, and then I made yeah. maximum like 20 pieces because it was hard uh, yeah and it takes a time and nowadays you have like an audience of whatever yeah, yeah. is open yeah, yeah, you yeah, know? Yeah. Yeah. So, Raster Notten has been a worldwide reference label and many international artists, you mm. know, just thank mm. Norton, uh, Raster Notten. Mm. But nowadays there are lots of personal labels, you know, individual labels. How do you handle this? I mean, 
No, this was also we are also we are starting like an, a small something and like an artist label having only like three of us first Olaf and me and Kost Nikolai and Olaf Bender me and Kost Nikolai and then uh, we invited artists to uh, also release on mm. our label mm. so and slowly it grows and also cool. we we are happy enough uh, lucky enough to have kind of new approach at this time and um, so and then nowadays also I see lots of small labels coming up and then it depends also how they run the label if they want to invite other people only like releasing their own stuff this is cool is, uh, I think it's also something good I mean the mm -hmm. more labels you have the more uh, chances, chances you have to hear something and yeah Lino, Raster not on did teach you something, especially Frank. Uh, Frank, uh, it was a great lesson. Enlightened, to you. <laughs> 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 my mind. <laughs> okay. Yes. How uh, did you get in touch with him? You told me. Uh, yeah, uh, he bought uh, our records in Berlin. In um, he bought in, your record. Yeah. Cool. 2007. It must be 2007, and, and you yeah. had this uh, uh, we Simeon had, uh, or what? This release, uh, you were on MySpace, right? Yeah, we were in my space uh, and uh, we released this record on uh, FT Records. Mm -hmm. It was a compilation of our uh, old stuff uh, plus some uh, unreleased track. And uh, it bought this semi on album and uh, mm -hmm. it left uh, the comment on my space. What did you write? You remember? You left a comment? Yeah, something that I really enjoyed the music yeah. or something. Yeah, but because I had it, I listened to it and said, wow, really cool. It's, and it's, also what yeah, I yeah, yeah. think about music. I guess you were so much excited because you yeah, were a fan. Yeah, me and Nicole, uh, yes, uh, we were excited about the <laughs> comments because we didn't expect uh, something yeah, yeah. like this, you know. Yeah, but this but is also but something that comes with internet, you know, yeah, like yeah, you yeah. meet somebody. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, it's a kind of... Uh, Sharing, yeah, good, uh, good okay. vibes, yes, you know. Yes, yes. So since then uh, we have had uh, some uh, email change. Uh, Exchange, uh, exchange right. yeah. yes. and uh, we met uh, in several festivals. Mm -hmm. Cool, that's great. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Magic, yeah. So you're tonight going to play something mm. new. We're so excited not, to listen yeah, to something it's new. It's not really new. I mean, no? this is like a, a second last record I did uh, put out on on Russell Noton, but uh, it fit, I guess it fits well for the for that night. More kind of club sound, more mm. like kind of uh, drum and bass stuff. Mm -hmm. and stuff like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, one more last question. Can I do it uh, about inspiration? Uh, and so attached to this matter, inspiration. Mm -hmm. Where do you take your inspiration <laughs> from? I mean, generally. Like and not only from the visual, as you said before. No, no I mean first, of course, like music, listen to other music, mm -hmm. and then I think always, oh, going to live concert, I think, wow, this is cool. I all want to try it, you know. So this is like something what I really. So from the external world and from your inner world, you drink sometimes. You do have visions. Yeah, of course, but this is not like so inspiring. But it's more like. Also like the daytime, nighttime, the, probably also this visit here, you know, but it's, just, it's not having like a direct influence. It's more like over time then mm. it's... Yeah, like a brick on a brick on a yeah, brick. Yeah, 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 right. And suddenly something mm -hmm. is there, I got you, know? you. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 The power of improvisation. Uh, yeah, I enjoy more and more. I, earlier I did my, my music was more like composed on the, on the computer often. And nowadays I enjoy more also improvisation. Mm. Therefore, I bought more also like a small. In fact, today today we have had a, a good vibe yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. improvising. You really had a good time together, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Nice. So you had a great time. We had a great time too, and yeah. I'm glad. Uh, thanks for the interview. Thanks Thank for doing this. And I'm gonna see you tonight. Yes. The seller Terry, come everybody. Yeah. Thanks again. Yeah. Thanks so, for the invitation. Yeah. I'm happy Thank to be you. here. Yeah. Brett Schneider, Lino Monaco, Nicola, Nicola. <laughs> Retina, Nicola. and thanks again. Bye. 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 Okay. It's okay, right? Bye. Nicola, photograph. Of course. Hey, Nicola is always behind. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the man. Yeah. But he's uh, shy. Okay. <laughs>